Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Tennessee might be in play for Democrats trying to win back the Senate. Former Tennessee Democratic Governor Phil Bredesen now holds a 10-point lead over Republican Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn. Former Democratic Governor Phil Bredesen is up. It's basically a dead heat. He's got a two-point lead in our poll over Republican Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn in that Senate's race. We need Marsha in the Senate. He wants her in the Senate. And his third visit just shows how close the race it is. Marsha Blackburn in a statistical tie with Phil Bredesen. I think Tennesseans want a U.S. senator who is going to do exactly what she says she is going to do when she goes to Washington, D.C. We are less than three weeks out until the midterms, and Tennessee Senate candidate Marsha Blackburn is up in the polls. Ms. Blackburn now holding, we're told, a nine-point lead among likely voters in the state. But it has become a fight with the two candidates crisscrossing the state on the last day of campaigning. Records being set for early voting. Today is the day. It is November 6, 2018. It's election day and midterms that could go down in history. The polls just opened 90 seconds ago in 14 more states. They want to drain the swamp. They want to get rid of the elitism and the cronyism in Washington, D.C., and they are showing up at the polls. The state of Tennessee, CNN, can project that Marsha Blackburn, the Republican candidate, will keep this open Republican seat in GOP hands. Marsha Blackburn will win the Senate seat in the state of Tennessee. Although Blackburn spent all summer trailing Bredesen in the polls, she closed the gap. She was a tireless campaigner in this race. A winner in the state of Tennessee, Marsha Blackburn, part of the year of the woman and this, a Republican woman heading to the United States Senate. Marsha Blackburn will be the first female senator to represent the state of Tennessee. And they will be sending their first female senator from Tennessee. Marsha Blackburn's percentage in, in, Tennessee, in the Tennessee Senate race, I mean, that was a close race all the way through. She pulled out 56%. Thank you all so incredibly much. I tell you what, I think the entire country has heard Tennessee loud and clear. <laughs>